So from NASA's formation in 1958 to the moon landing in 1969, the pursuit of space embodied America's commitment to advancing technology. Backed by extensive government funding, NASA peaked at about 4% of the entire federal budget. And motivated by the intense Cold War competition with the Soviet Union, America's scientific progress became a matter of political pride and national security. And America's heavy investment into space from both public and the private sector did more than just get us to the moon. It led to other foundational breakthroughs with positive spillover effects. Fields ranging from material science to computing, electronics, communications, robotics, and weather monitoring were improved as a result of the space program's work. This wasn't something that was just reserved for academic breakthroughs or in papers. It, it, people felt it in their day-to-day -day existence. IBM was creating its first mainframes, laying the foundation for the modern computing age. We got the polio vaccine, ultrasounds, birth control, and early CT scans. Air travel became accessible with the launch of large passenger jets. Things like color TVs, portable radios, refrigerators, microwaves, dishwashers, washing machines, and vacuums all became fixtures of a booming middle-class suburban lifestyle in the post-war era.